Hi, so what I wanted to talk to you today about is following on from my other video on year one and two fractions. I wanted to talk to you about how we teach the fraction of number to children. This can be really difficult because a number is a whole thing. So why would you cut a, cut a number up? So it can be quite hard for them to understand, whereas the fraction of an object or a fraction of shape can be a lot easier. So the way um, we teach it is to use our understanding of the fraction of shape. So if we take this one, a half of 10. Now on the last video, I talked a lot about this bottom number. This bottom number, the denominator, as they'll start to learn in year three onwards, is the number of pieces. So if I was to actually draw a shape, maybe a pizza, and I was to cut it in to two pieces, that's all I've done. I've copied the fraction into a shape. And then I'm going to take the number 10 and I'm going to share it out equally between the two halves. So I'm going to use crosses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So a half of 10 would mean there would be five crosses on each half. So a half of 10 is five. Now, the other thing we'd like children to do, which I won't go into today, is to know that double five goes back to 10. So we can halve and double numbers. Now let's have a look at one which is a quarter or a third because they're the fractions we need to know in key stage one. So if we want to know what is one quarter of eight, then the first thing we would get the children to do is to think about what does one quarter look like in a shape? Well, if we take the pizza idea and we cut it into half and then into half again, we've got quarters. All the time emphasising that this bottom number, this denominator, um, is actually means we're cutting it into four pieces. And then what we can do is we can get eight objects. This is how we would start. And we would say, right, if we're going to find a quarter of eight, we're going to share eight cubes out between the four pieces. And sometimes you can pretend they're smart is on a cake and you want to divide the cake into four pieces and you want to share the fraction, the smart is equally between each piece. So then once we've done that, we would look and say, well, how many are on each quarter? How many is on one quarter of the cake? We can see that there are two. So the children are using practical objects um, to work out what a fraction of eight is. And again, you could use um, a pizza base at home. You could use a cake with Smarties, with eight Smarties. Um, you could use a piece of toast and you could put I don't know, a different um, lump of cheese. You could have eight lumps of cheese and share them out onto each quarter. But you're trying to find out what is one quarter of eight. Now, once we've done this, the next step would be for children to start to understand what would be three quarters of eight. So we know that one quarter, one piece is two. And if we look at the fraction, hopefully children are so solid knowing that that bottom number is the number of pieces. The top number is the number that we're counting. So we're actually going to count the pieces, the cubes, on three pieces of the cake. So then they start to visually see that three quarters of eight is six. So lots and lots of practical would work really well with the children. Now, when they've got the hang of the practical, the next step would be to be able to start to give the children something like three quarters of 12 and they can work it out. Now, at this stage in key stage one, in year one and two, we're working on using our crosses to actually help us. So we've moved on from cubes and we're now going to work on a visual, a visual um, working out method. So first of all, we are going to divide it into four pieces. We are going to share out 12 crosses. One, two, three, four. Round again, five, six, seven, eight. Round again, nine, 10, 11, 12. We've shared out our 12 crosses and now we're going to refer back to the top number to see how many pieces we're going to count. Now, if the children have got colouring pencils, a really good idea is to colour in the number of pieces. 
so you could colour in then three of the quarters and then they can count the crosses and they would know that three quarters of 12 equals nine. So we like the children at the end of year two to be able to do the quarters and as I said on the other video the thirds so two thirds or one third of a number knowing that the bottom number is the number of pieces. Obviously to, to draw a third shape is quite hard for children to do so they might want to be just draw themselves a bar cut it into three pieces share out the crosses so maybe two thirds of six you would share out the six crosses four five six and then you would look at the top number and you would color in the two thirds or you might just put a circle round two thirds to identify what the answer is equals four. Now sometimes when I'm teaching children we actually get a post-it and we cover this top number up because first thing is that we're going to draw the boxes and then we're going to share out the crosses. The top number, the numerator, does not matter until right at the end when we count the crosses in those two boxes. So that's another way to do it so that they really get the the kinesthetic way of learning that we're actually going to cover that up we really don't need it yet and they don't get confused by that top number the words numerator and denominator they will start to use in year three but in year two and year one what we're trying to get them is just to understand the concept of a fraction of number when they get into year three and four i will do some videos on that they start looking at fifths and eighths and sixths and sevenths and lots of other fractions which is once they've got this method, they should be able to work them out. But it's really making sure that they're really solid in that fraction of number. I hope that all makes sense. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.